Hi YouTube and welcome back to my Let's Play Ion. Alright, so we are now at level 15 with uh, Sloan Drew. <laughs> um, don't ask me how I got that name. I just, I think I just kind of did a random thing there. And uh, just kind of trying to play out on the rest of the Vast Felt Village quests. Um, I'm trying to get myself leveled up to around level 20 because I think it's around, I've said this before, but I think it's around level 20 when we start getting um, the opportunity to go out to the, the big PV, PVE area um, where you can fly all around and lots of floating rocks and, and, and war um, scenarios and that kind of thing. Initially it's just a bunch of quests out there and then eventually you start getting into more and more um, content and things. Um, at least from my experience. Um, I don't know how much it's changed. I haven't uh, gone out into that area um, in a while now. It's been at least a year since I've, I've uh, kind of trolled around there. I have a, um, a level 30 gladiator um, that I was playing with and I believe I believe it was around level 20. It might have been level 25. Um, but in the 20s um, is when you start getting the uh, the quest opportunities to go out there. So, in the meantime, we're just kind of going around here, and um, it's going to take um, this episode, plus at least the next episode, um, to kind of finish out the, the Best Felt Village quests, um, and then uh, it'll probably be on to the next, uh, the next questing area. So, um, it... Uh, uh, Bass Felt Village has quite a has quite a few quests and quite a few different areas um, to to kind of work on. So um, right now I'm uh, kind of going after these um, poison sack amphas. I need to uh, get their skins or something like that, or some kind of some kind of membrane from them, um, and then uh, followed up by um, killing these sprig outlaws who are not aggressive um, by default. So, which is nice. So, there we go. I got the rest, the last Ampha membrane. So you, you can see I, I ran right through that outlaw and he didn't attack me. So, not aggressive. Um, and someone was kind enough to mention to me on the um, on my comments that um, if I look at the mini map, if they're white, they're not aggressive. If they're red, they are aggressive. Um, so, yeah, duh. Um, <laughs> thanks for that. Um, I, I wasn't paying any attention to, to how that worked. Uh, I guess I'm just so used to the World of Warcraft um, methodology of, of doing things and, uh, and, and knowing what's aggressive, what's unaggressive there, that I just wasn't paying attention to how it worked here. So anyway, thanks for that. Um, so yeah, so if anyone um, pays attention to my mini map at all, which is down in the bottom right corner, um, you'll see the white dots and the red dots, and you'll, you know, the red dots are the ones that are aggressive and would attack me if I got too close to them. Um, but be that as it may, I still have to attack these poor little sprig outlaws because uh, they're the only way for me to pick up glowing mushrooms. Apparently, I can't just pick them up myself. I have to pick them up from the outlaws. Like, alrighty then. <laughs> All right, so there's some more spring outlaws. And if you notice uh, a lot of transitions um, on, on this video, um, I ended up doing a lot of gathering. Uh, my gathering skill was lagging up behind quite a bit, and I needed to get it up um, to over 45. Um, for some of the areas that I was getting into, I wasn't able to, to gather some items because my uh, skill wasn't high enough. So, um, I stop a lot and do a lot of gathering. Um, you can see like in the background there, there's a tickle, um, flower. So I was gathering a lot of those things and, um, I ended up gathering some silver and just a whole, a whole ton of stuff. And so you'll see a lot of transitions like that. <laughs> um, so that's, that's the reason for those transitions is because, um, I really, I mean this, I actually spent... Um, for the duration of this video that you're watching, it's about 16 minutes, um, but I actually, um, you're going to actually look at about an hour and a half worth of me gaming, and um, I kind of cut it down to the to the 16 minutes, because I don't want these videos to get too long. But at the same time, I want to keep, and I also want to keep them interesting, 
and things. Um, I do try to keep all the quest turn-ins and pickups and things just so that it kind of makes sense what I'm doing and why I'm doing them. <laughs> so you have a yeah, because if I cut out if I cut out this part, um, people like, like well, why is she killing those things? <laughs> it's because of the quest that I picked up. So there we go. Um, so I'm turning that quest in, and now I'm going into I have to go to the moss bear habitat. I need to find um, honey, and um, I need to kill some of uh, these guys over here, some of these moss bears. And this is not a time challenge like I had before. Um, from Shania last week. This time it's just a straight up kill quest. I need to kill five either mo starved or um, ferocious, I think. I forget. There's two types that I need to kill, but starved is one of them. And um, yeah, fierce. Sorry. So I need to kill either starved or fierce mo moss bears. Um, and then once I get those, um, I can move on to. Um, I need to gather some honey. And there's a couple of other quests in the area that I'm going to be in. Um, and then I need to come back and um, pick up a couple other quests. Because there's actually um, a kind of a, a semi-moss bear boss um, that I need to kill. And I actually ran into him uh, while I was running around here. And and I and I took him out even though I didn't have the quest for him yet. So, but I, don't, I didn't include that footage. Because um, that was in the middle of my super gathering... Um, frenzy. <laughs> he was he was kind of getting in the way, and I if I uh, he was I was in an area where he was going to attack me anyway. So anyway, so first off, I have to take care of these rainbow slime, and you'll see over in the upper right there um, what looks kind of like an altar or something, and that's the the, the altar of Tiamat. And I do remember that there is some kind of a quest there as well. In fact, it's kind of like one of the culmination quests in the area. One of the major kind of semi-boss quests in the area. Um, I recall it being rather challenging the last time I did it, but that was before they did the fast track servers and, and all of that stuff. And so since I've been kind of fast tracking uh, my leveling, I'm going to definitely be above level um, when I, well, or at least at level when I do this. Because um, I'm definitely like, I'm 15 now, I'm almost 16. Um, in fact, I hit 16 while I'm um, doing a lot of my gathering, so you won't actually see me hit 16. All of a sudden, you just notice that the, the number down there is going to become 16 at one point. Alright, we almost got all the rainbow slimes. We need one more. Only five of them there. And this one got, uh, I poisoned me, so I'm like, okay, I better hit some more. Uh, healing just to kind of counteract that a little bit. My healing is a little less per heal than um, I'm getting poison, but the poison didn't last as long, so that kind of helped. Alright, so get rid of that one. And you can see here that um, like this bluetta that's swimming by me, this fish that's swimming by me, um, based on the color of the name, um, I can't gather it yet. It's too high level, and that's one of the reasons why I was I was starting to get into this kind of gathering frenzy. I'm like, yeah, I just I can't, so, um, I can't gather things, and um, I'm just gonna keep going faster and faster through these areas. And so I thought, well, I get I just I've got to do my gathering because uh, once I get to the higher levels, the gathering. Um, it actually does come in really handy. I think there's one area where I actually need to go back to um, Alkart and I need to do more either um, essence tapping or either tapping because of um, the fact that I remember that you need a certain amount of uh, of that either essence or something to go through um, the 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 there's like these almost like a stargate almost to get out to that one PvPVE area that I mentioned. Um, and I remember that I needed to kind of work on leveling up that skill the last time um, in order to get the, uh, the, the amount of stuff I need in order to get out there. So um, I have to kind of get on the ball and do that. <laughs> oh yes, here we go. Here's a... I'm going to talk to this guy. He's a... I forget what he is. 
but he's like half lion or tiger. It looks like a mix between lion, tiger, and humanoid and stuff. <laughs> oh, and you may have noticed, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm actually using two guns now. So one of the things I actually did do before I uh, went ahead and started this episode is I went back to Pandemonium, the, the capital city, and um, I did. I finally got some training because I've been leveling and I just haven't bothered to go back and get the training that I needed. And so I finally got all the training I needed. Oh yeah, and you can see here that she's now level 16. But one of the things I got was the dual wielding. So now I can wield two guns at the same time. Um, I think I tried to equip two guns um, before and it wouldn't let me because I didn't have the training for it. So now I am able to dual wield and um, I actually bought two new guns that were better than the one gun that I picked up in uh, Pandemonium, which is kind of cool. So um, I now have two really... I have one that's a really good, really, really good gun um, and uh, another one that's a decent gun. Um, I bought both of them um, through the auction house. Alright, um, let's uh, turn that one in. So he wanted me to kill three of the birds because they were annoying him. And next is um, going to be killing a bunch of spiders because they um, they bother him when he sleeps. <laughs> and he gets grumpy. And you don't want to get man to guard grumpy. <laughs> He's definitely not the kind of creature I would want to see getting grumpy. <laughs> So yeah, these nimble arachna. Oh, they're just they're spiders, so it's basically need to kill them off. Get rid of these guys. And then it's on to the next stuff. So I already got all the honey pots. There were like nine of them that I had to gather. Uh, but there was a lot of gather a lot of gathering um of stuff around the, the the um honey pots or whatever they were. Uh, honeycombs and so um, a lot of that footage I just cut out just because like I said uh, the a lot of the gathering it, just, it takes a long time to do the gathering um, they they haven't sped up um, how to gather uh, it's one of the one of the improvements in World of Warcraft that I think was was very necessary was speeding up gathering um, so instead of having to pick at a ore node um, to do your ore mining um, three or four times before you, you know, use all up, all, all the ore up. You just do it once and it just, boom, everything's there. You're done. <laughs> you still have to go through it once, but that's about it. Alright. So I got all of the arachna I need. Oh, you also notice that she's starting to glow again, so you can see my DP here is is getting up quite a bit you can tell you know i think after about an hour um you get the first level and then after uh, about an hour hour and a half you get the second level and so she would start glowing more and more she'd have more and more of this kind of kind of glowing stuff coming off of her um and eventually the game starts saying hey you've been playing for two hours take a break <laughs> it, it's constantly trying to remind me to take a break but um, I you know when I when I do this I, I, I'll play for like an hour hour and a half you know about once a week and that's it and that's that's the footage you get to see all right so we're done with that uh, that area right now the moss bear habitat we are gonna have some more quests um, that we pick up on the way back um, and then we'll have to go back to the moss bear habitat but I have to go all the way back to uh, Bestfell Village to pick up some of those quests. So, might as well. Um, I f forgot to stop by this guy on the way up. Um, if I had, I could have done one quest up there. But I know I have to go back. Um, so, since I've kind of been there, done that before. Alright, so we've done that. Look at the map and it'll show that, yep, got to go back up to the Moss Bear Habitat for that. But, um, I, like I said, there's one quest I've got to turn in. Actually, a couple of, a couple of them that I have to turn in at Bestfelt Village. So here I'm using the return spell uh, instead of having to run all the way back. Um, and now we're just going to turn in these quests. 
and pick up the rest of them and then um, basically next week um, I will go back to the moss bear habitat and complete those quests and I might actually have time there's a, a other some several other quests with some lephritists and Komu is um, an ancient moss bear who was so once here's the, the yeah friend. here's the, the quest for Komu the ancient moss now, bear so this guy I've got to go creature. back and take out um, so we'll we'll take care of him next but there's a, there's a there's a moo moo section that I've got to take care of yet and some lephritists that I need to take care of um, so after I finish the moss bear habitat stuff I'll try and finish that stuff up and then we should be getting ready to move on to the next um, area for questing after that. Um, but first, we're just gonna just gonna wrap things up here with all my quest turn-ins. And I have to make a choice here, and I'm gonna end up taking the the belt that gives me um, health points instead of um, Perry, because Perry is kind of useless for me. Anyway, thanks for joining me this week. And until next week, I hope you take care. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, until next week, take care. Bye-bye.